two, one, now. Will evil make 8G? Three Gs. Remember to breathe. Four Gs. Evil's heartbeat gets faster. Breathing is hard for him. His muscles give in to the forces. Five Gs. It's, it's enough. Good, uh, 5.2 age. Box with strings on it and spin it around and the cat comes out and its eyes are going like this. I'm pretty sure my eyes are doing that right now. Evil followed the most important rules. Breathe and tense your muscles. But I made it through without puking and without passing out. So now I think I'm gonna go into the bathroom and puke and pass out. Better now than during his next challenge. Because for that one, Evil will travel to Sillon in the French part of Switzerland. A laid back village in the midst of a picturesque landscape. But appearances are deceptive. Now comes the last and most evil part of Evil's G-Force's mission, through the air in a fighter jet. Now we'll see how tough the life of a rock star has really made him. Because the task for the pilot Eric Howat and his plane is to expose Evil Jared to the most evil G-Forces there are. The aim, a full 10G. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah, you ready? You. Thanks for the invitation. Yes, OK. And this is it, yeah? Yes. You're ready to fly? Ready as I'll ever be. I you know, I've been to air shows and seen like the Blue Angels and stuff where they do the loops and they, they, yeah, they do the all the roll. crazy crap. Can we do this stuff? Yes, we will do some some loops, some roll, some dairy, oh. some dairy or what, okay. what do you think? Yeah, awesome. In this direction, yeah. uh, let's say 7.5, 8G. We, we'll look out together. OK. How do you feel? The Hawker Hunter fighter jet demands a great deal of its passengers in spite of having 35 years under its belt. Its top speed is just below the sound barrier. And during maneuvers, up to 10 G are possible. An evil pressure even for experienced fighter pilots. That's why evil can't enter in his ordinary clothes, but has to put on a pilot's outfit, a fire protection suit, and so-called G trousers over it because the higher the G-pressure, the higher the pressure in the trousers, which jams on Evil's legs and belly. That way, the blood flow in his legs can be maintained, because it won't be possible to just quickly land if Evil doesn't feel well. The air will come here. Uh -huh. i show you what. Something like that. Oh, that's cool. And here your helmet. Right. Yeah. Uh, first time I saw Top Gun, the first of the 20 times I saw it, uh, like 30 years ago, and I've been waiting since then to be able to put one of these things on. And here we are now. Okay, then let's go to the yeah. plane. And since he's been waiting for this for so long, we'll grant him his moment. By the way, the Hawker Hunter is one of the few fighter jets where pilot and co-pilot sit next to each other. The fundamental things Evil needs to know. So, for the ejection seat, you have here, handle, and here as well. Okay, so, if and if, when we get ejected, you gotta hold on like this. Yes, exactly, okay. and you pull until here, and then you have 18 G for us for the... 18 Gs? 18, and then everything is automatic and you will be hanging on your shoe. Okay. And that's it. The rest, if we have some trouble, everything, we speak together. Okay. Okay? We don't you just immediately it? go for the ejection no, seat. <laughs> it's not the idea. The idea of uh, the ejection seat is, is uh, fine. That's the last resort, uh, right? We don't if immediately somebody, jump yes, there. Yes, okay, exactly. that's fair enough. So, you feel good? Yeah, feel great. We keep in Don't know going. how long that's gonna last, but for right now, yeah. feeling good. Okay, very good. By the way, what Evil doesn't know is, the ejection seats exist only thanks to the German Luftwaffe. Towards the end of the war, they ran into a shortage of pilots and needed to do something about it. 
Okay, we start the engines. Okay. The engine is running, the machine is ready for takeoff. No turning back for evil anymore. Now we'll see the effect the training in the centrifuge has had. Will evil withstand the 10G without his body collapsing? Our jet has just received takeoff clearance. Here we go. All right. Eric, the pilot, goes full power. All right, nose is starting to come up. Got it 80, we just stopped the takeoff. Because the airport is surrounded by high mountains, Eric has to soar up immediately. The Hawker Hunter can soar up to 40 meters per second after takeoff. Evil immediately starts to react to the extreme climb. But the pilot hasn't even started his flight program. A few minutes later, they reach the designated area. We're ready to drop some uh, G-Force. OK, you ready? OK. It starts very, very innocuously with half a roller. Standard maneuver. Oh, yeah, I'm really feeling the G-Forces now. Yeah. And once again, since it was so nice. We have three and a half G now. Okay. Such maneuvers are essential for survival in combat. Through such a half roller or a nosedive, the pilot can evade enemy fire in an emergency. Just by watching, the stomach turns upside down. Not good enough for evil, he wants to be truly evil. Very good. Blackout. So we're going to blackout. Now's the time, right? Oh, the air gets damn thin at 5,000 meters up. If you add the G-forces, which stop the blood from being properly pumped through your body even more, quite an evil experience. Oh! Here comes the puke! <laughs> Luckily, as always, he had a meager hotel breakfast. You can put your mask on, okay? Yeah, easier said than done. How do I clip that Okay, on? I can help you a little bit. Hmm? Okay, move to the left. There you are. Because now the most evil part of the flight is about to start. A loop with a radius of several kilometers. The pilot's assignment, reach 10G. And this is the precise moment evil starts chirping like a nightingale. Can you see by the dawn? So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Ready. Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight are the ramparts we watch with the gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof. We had 7.2 G's. 7.2 G's, and I didn't puke. That was amazing, amazing. Even though Evil is still a good distance away from the aspired 10 G, these 7.2 G have brought him to his limits. To go higher could lead to a dangerous blackout and possible brain damage. Eric, the pilot, decides to head back to the airbase. Hey, thank you. That was awesome. <laughs> A unique experience for evil. 
a feeling as if he was carrying 690 kilograms. Not everyone would be able to endure this without blacking out. Oh my God, that was intense. Seven and a half Gs, upside down, 7,000 meters. I've never done anything like that before. You know the feeling you get when you take off in like a 737? Imagine that times like 100. The ears popping, the pressure, the, 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 the way it feels like your, your chest is being crushed a little bit. It was, yeah. Well, and when you got up there and we were, we were the G-force were pressing down on us, it was almost impossible to raise your hands up. And I'm guessing that is, uh, that is G-forces at work. Evil didn't get to 10G, but those 7G have brought him to his limits. Shortage of breath, reduced field of vision, loss of body control, but even so, Evil always was and still is a tough bastard. Thank you, yeah. thank you so much. That was great. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I managed to, to, to stay conscious. 7.2 G and you. That was 7.2. Yes. Wow. Oh, oh, maybe three or something. Yeah, I know I've been running my mouth about yeah. wanting to get the 10 Gs. I don't think I, after this, I don't think I want to get the 10 Gs. Believe 7.2. It's plenty for me. We agree. Thanks, Evil. <laughs>